It's me, Mikey Pipes, and Gigi the Mini Colin Doodle. Where's your little brother? Your little brother's at the trainer. Today is Sunday, December 26th, 2021. Let me give you a rundown of what you're about to watch. Two emergency service calls, no heat. First one, very, very weird. Robert Shaw gas valve, three quarter in, one inch out, and it has a thermal couple connection on it. You know, same threads, but the threads are a little bit larger. And it's not your typical thermal couple that's sitting in the pilot flame. It appears to be a pilot generator that has thermal couple ends to it. Very, very weird. Nonetheless, got them up and running. And the second service call, zone valve. Zone valve issue on a Burnham Series 2, I think it was a P205. That's it. Just taking the dog for a walk. Where are you? Wanna say hi? Gigi? Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? All right, let's go. But before we get started, you make sure you smash that thumbs up button. St. Mike commands you to smash it. You smash it now. You want to give me something for Christmas? You give me a thumbs up. You want to give me something more for Christmas? You make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to get post notifications. All right, enough said. Let's go. All right, working on this Well McLean EG75. One forty-nine, Sunday, December 26th. By the way, I really appreciate it. you guys check me out on, on Reddit. There's a link down in the description box down below. I thought this was going to be a simple pilot relight. Right? And I'm a little lazy. So I took the bottom bar out that goes to the bottom of the boiler right there. And I go to spin out the thermal couple, right? Because here's the end of it, but it's not a thermal couple. Well, at least not one that I'm used to seeing or anyone else I'm used to seeing. Check this out, guys. Look at that. <laughs> it's a, it's like a pilot generator and it's not coming out right there, but Interesting, right? And it looks just like, I don't know why that's bypassed. It looks just like a regular thermal couple. Interesting. See that? Very, very interesting. I'm going to try to get that out of there. And the problem is it's swollen on top. Yeah. Look at that. Have you seen that before? All right, so I don't want to co-op very easily, so I'm going to drill it out. I'm gonna see if I could drill this bad boy out. Just a tip. If I could drill this out, I may be able to let it get out. See? Just make that small enough. It might be able to wiggle it out, but it don't want to go. It don't want to go. No bueno. GG, do you think they smashed that thumbs up button? I don't think they did. What are you waiting for? All right, so I went to the truck. I grabbed the grinder. And I cut it out, and now she's gone. So now we're going to take our... 36 inch thermal couple and put it in here. And I've never seen that before like that. So I hope this gas valve doesn't require a lot more power than a traditional thermal couple. But let's see. So it's in there like that, right? Okay, now I'm gonna stick that in there and hook it up. Some kind of cutoff with this. Do 
weird. See this? It's like very, very weird. Just came right out of there. Hmm. Interesting. Now we're gonna tighten up the pilot tubing, I guess. And I got my 7 16 and 3 inch. 3 8 flare wrench, which will work perfectly right there. Now I'm going to work on my thermocouple that's going to go there. Let's see who makes this thing. Let's see if there's any identification on it. What does this say? Robert Shaw. To Robert Shaw. Hmm. Robert Shaw. You know what? Since this thing wasn't really doing anything, I'm gonna leave this out. It's not hooked up to anything. Interesting. Well, not today. Hmm. Not today. No good. Huh. Threading is completely different. Wow. Hmm. It is what it is. All right. The only way I'm going to make this work is converting the system to electronic. All right. I don't have the retrofit kit, but I do have everything I need to make it work. I have the gas valve that can support the amount of BTUs that this thing puts out. Three quarter in, three quarter out. I have a new pilot uh, assembly with electronic ignition built into it. I have the wiring harness that will connect my electronic ignition module to the gas valve and bring the power in. So we're gonna turn off the gas, disconnect the piping, replace the pilot burner and Good show on the road. All right, gas is off. Let's crack this union. This is the side. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Just what I wanted to happen. Perfect. Now, let's get a little wrench. Let's take the gas pile tubing out. Throw a couple off to the side. Let's loosen this up. Let's take off power. There, okay. Now, when it's turned, everything turns. God damn it. All right, let me take this out and take that nipple out. Hope you guys having a great weekend. It was nice to have some time off, but nonetheless, went on a service call last night. It was good. It felt good getting them up and running. It was nice. Old Navy. I see a 100% failure rate with their water tube combis. Water tube heat exchangers. 100% failure rate. And one by one, we're taking them out and putting in the Bosch Green Stars. All right. Let's see, I want to see this gas valve. See what deals with this bad boy. Look at that thing's a beast. Robert Shaw. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. It's a beast. Let's compare it to the new one. I may need you to put a longer nipple in. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta put a, I'm gonna put a longer nipple in there. See, she's a little bit short. Wow, look at that. It bushed down to one inch. I mean, bushed up, sorry, bushed down from one inch there. Wow, this is a beast of a valve. 
that just because the regular thermal couple wouldn't go in there. I've never seen that before. You know? Never seen it before, and it's 24 volt, three, three and a half inches of water column. You see, half PSI. So you get a longer nipple here. Looks like I gotta get the tape measure out. Let's get the little tape measure out right here. So, there's that one, all right, here's this one, and we need, we're going to need a four inch, we're going to need a four inch nipple, we're going to get a four inch nipple from the truck, all right, got the four inch nipple, so like I was saying, Went on a service call last night, Christmas night. Navian, NCB, floods, floods the basement, right? And she's already put tons of money into this thing already. And tons of it, tons of more into it last night as well. Rep replaced a bunch of stuff in there. Okay, it's good there. And got her up and running. And it is what it is. It's the life that we have, you know, is in the trades doing service, especially residential service. This is what we do, you know. Intermittent pilot. Okay, so I gotta remove that. You have to remove that plug, because that's for intermittent pilot. So we gotta take this out. Okay. The little plug is gone. And put the valve in here. Like that. Alright. Okay. Just use the large Nipix. Tighten up the gas valve on there. Alright, next. this pilot burner so this thermal couple that we thought was going to solve the trick do the trick didn't work so it is what it is so now we're going to take out uh yeah we'll take out this pilot assembly right take that off right there two screws most of the times they're flat screws a little slotted whoever invented the slotted screw needs to be shot but these are Philip, so much easier to take out. Now, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna take our new assembly, pilot assembly right there, and we're going to put you on right there. Why don't you wanna go on? Why don't you cooperate there, buddy? Never a dull moment, I swear. There we go. Oh. Come on. Get in there, buddy. lead on there for spark all right and it's insulated on this okay so there's that and i'm going to reuse the pilot tube from this one so let's just take this off i don't, don't want to replace the pilot tube nothing wrong with the pilot tubing it's fine so let's spin off Cooperate, did you? Uh, you know, you go to these service calls, you think you're gonna be there for 
20 minutes and be out and then you realize it's not the case. Okay, so now this is gone, all right. This is going to go right here. So let me take off this one. Okay. Make sure the orifice stays in there. See, there's an orifice in there. If we lose that orifice, no bueno, no bueno. We don't want to lose the orifice. Okay. Now I'm going to take that. That's seven sixteenths and three eighths. Okay. See, now she's on there. Now, let's stick this one back in there. on there. Let's reconnect our gas. I like to use Prodo. It works good for me. That's what I like to use. so much. My nipple's too long. Let's see. Recognition module. I'm gonna mount that. I'm gonna mount that right there. Okay. I get my drill. Dig into the veto. Let's get. into there. Okay. Next. Turn this wiring. Okay. 
Okay. Now, let's, let's wire this bad boy up. I'm gonna talk with the green. The green goes on the ground. Right there on the bottom. Okay. And then we have MV, which is red. And that goes on to MV. MV stands for main. Stands for main valve. Now we have PVNV, so that's P, that's pilot valve, main valve, and that one is white wire. So let's stick the white wire. I'll stick you on there, and then we have PV, which is pilot valve, and that's the blue wire. Okay, like that. Now we do the same to the opposite side here. So first. Right. We have our green that's ground. So I'm gonna stick that on ground. Okay. And then we have pilot valve, which is the blue wire. And we have the white, which is PVMV. Alright, and then the red is main valve. Okay. These others two we don't need. Okay, we're gonna take our voltage coming in here, and we have ground. Uh, let's see which one is ground. Which one is ground? Let's see. Ground is this fat blue one. That's common. All right. common all right and then this one goes there and if all goes well I'll try to switch on we'll be good to go oh, okay waiting for the low water cut off see waiting for the low water cut off Up that low water cutoff, though. So it turns out the thermostat was off. <laughs> it's all good. He's got a lot of problems, though. Come look at this. Check that out. Right. Look at they did the low water cutoff. They smashed in the low water cutoff to accommodate. Crazy. There. Alright, so it took that out. <laughs> Jesus. Smashed that one in there. Oh god. Alright. I didn't like those wire nut connections, so cut those out. Then we're gonna test the lower to cut off, which is making all that stupid noise. GG, have they subscribed yet to the channel? Speechless, right? Why haven't you subscribed yet? Do it now. Saint Mike Comanze.
find the low water cutoff works. That thing is so effing loud though. Damn it. Time bomb right there. bring him downstairs because I he has had everything go I was like listen the boiler is operational and safe I was like but you know your low water cover is making a loud noise he goes why is that and I was like I don't know ask the person who smashed it in <laughs> and he goes yeah the people put the boiler in I guess they must have done that and I was like yeah that makes perfect sense if it doesn't if a square peg won't fit into a round hole we smash it in hacks I swear <laughs> Hey, numb nuts. The light's green. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta love my job. All right. I got one more for you. Yeah, we'll make this a double feature. A double feature of Mikey Pipes. It's me. We're heading over to Oceanside. Customer has... Resistance in her zone valves, and it shouldn't be. And we told her to replace it before, but she didn't. So now she's paying a premium on a Sunday for emergency service. Don't pay twice, pay once. All right, let's go. Hi, how are you? Well, you for the heat? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? It's not working? Nope. Whole house? No, it's uh, downstairs. The master upstairs is a separate zone. Okay. That one. Okay. You guys were here, I think, a week or two ago. Okay. Um, Where's the thermostat? Thermostat. The thermostat. This one is, that one's for uh, the floor and downstairs. Is it, on, is it on right now? Yes. What is it set to? I think I put it at 69. 70. 70? Okay. Show me the boil. Now just show them what they showed you first. What they showed you. All right, you two. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, you're good. Hi. Any idea why that switches off the top of the stairs? Why does it switch off the top of the stairs? Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. That's the bullet. Let me. 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 Let
Yeah, and try to reach it. This is just getting any power. Oh my god, he just reached it. Okay. Did he really? With, with his hands. He just wow. got his tippy toes and... <laughs> He's got skills. Luca, let him work. Stop. I work in too. I <laughs> He's working too. You know, tools for Christmas? Now he wants to use them. Where's your drill? Go show him your drill. Yeah, where's your drill? So anyway, we had no hot water this morning. Okay. So if you see that extension cord I just ran to it, I think that outlet is no good. Do you guys do that or not? Not yet. No. After the first, we're doing electrical services. So the outlet's no good? Where's, yeah, where's right the outlet? There. No, but hold on. The GFI right there. How's it working now? One on, yeah, well, now it's working. Because the switch, you think <laughs> the switch? <laughs> this kid. <laughs> no. You can do yeah, turn it off. Good, no wonder. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's the way it's wired. The way it's wired. It's, it's, they added an outlet okay. from this box. <laughs> And this box also sends power to the boiler, so. Gosh, yeah. right, let me trace something. Okay, I could use the alligator clips by like showing off the way it goes. <laughs> this is one the yellow, here's the other yellow, and I have 27 volts, so. We have a call for heat, and we have a, ooh. Now it moves freely, with no power applied. Zone valve shot. All right, it's in the truck. By the way, you notice it's a white box and it says Honeywell. They don't come like this anymore. This is like vintage now. Now it comes in a cardboard box, right? And it says Residio on it. Well, I don't know why they sold it out to Residio. The name. Hmm, someone did some press action there. I didn't even notice that. There's a water heater right here. So they took that out. Gas, okay. Rene RL 94. Direct vent. Oh, look at that. It's nice. I need a good tankless model. It's nice, compact. Very nice. Oh, the other mic was here. Okay, let's get to work. When you put these on, you basically, let me show you. It's, well, it's got, like, gotta go in my eye like that, see? And it snaps into place, and then you secure the two screws. Do not play with the lever, all right? Don't play with that lever until after it's secured. Gigi, tell them to subscribe. Subscribe! Why haven't you subscribed yet? Okay. Good. And she moves freely. If she didn't move freely, then you gotta change the body. That sucks. I have press in the truck though, so we're good. <laughs> All right, let's turn off the power. So I don't zap anything. All right, so the two red wires are the end switch. And the end switch is TT basically. So when I push in, that little button right there, right? You're closing the end switch. So if you notice, there's two wires from this one, two wires from this one, and they get wired to the other remaining wires that then go to boiler, TT, okay? I'm gonna redo this with the uh, three conductor Wago. All right, so this cheap wire they used. My God. So I have a set of red, wires from each zone valve and they each go to TT and then that's out of the way. Now, here's one, two, this is to my motor and one it goes to that and the other one goes to there. So I'm gonna use a two wire, two conductor way go there and a three there. Okay, so I just hooked up that. Now, see the lever's closing, it's gonna push in that little button. And then we have a call for heat. That's how easy it is. And I'm gonna leave these alone. I'm not gonna touch them. I'm not gonna touch them. I didn't play with them. 
they're good. Shove all these back into this little box, put the cover on, have a nice day. Well, she's not gonna need this anymore. We're good. 12, 26, 21, zone valve. Good to go. All right, so that concludes the two emergency service calls that came in this afternoon. It is 3.32. Headed home. By the way, the Flex Fit Embroidered Pipe Doctor hats available. You're not going to get them on spring.com. You're only going to get directly from me, Mikey Pipes. And they're pretty reasonably priced. And I'm not trying to make a fortune off, you know, this merch stuff, but, you know, just, just social support for the channel, you know? It's called branding. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. All right, so let's recap. First service call. I never ever and i've been doing this for quite some time i've never ever ever seen that kind of issue or that kind of gas valve with that kind of uh, pilot generator slash thermal couple i've seen reverse threads on gas valves you know for the thermal couple but i've never seen a pilot generator that has similar uh, characteristics of a regular thermal couple and I think I did the right thing. I replaced the, the, the gas valve. He wanted heat today. I have the parts in the truck to make it work safely. Yes, so it costs you some more money. But nonetheless, Sunday afternoon, we got him heat. What the hell? Anyway, sorry to stun there. And then this last service call, Oceanside. You know, there's a for sale sign and sold on front of the house. And I'm thinking that they're moving in. But they moved in already, because it looks like they moved in, like boxes everywhere and stuff like that. But they're actually moving out. And they're telling me, like, this house is haunted. Like, they know, it knows we're leaving and it's like sucking everything out of us. You know, it was like last week it was the lead bend, then it was this, then it was that. I was like, the lights just stopped working. <laughs> I'm like, the house is haunted or something, you know? But quick little thing with the uh, zone valve using the Wagos. I love them Wagos. Lego my Wago. All right, guys, I'm going to go home, have a drink. No, it's too early. No, nah, I'm going to go home, have a drink. Prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing an emergency installation of an SIN 6 Burnham 6 section gas fire steam boiler. All hands on deck for that. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button like you're making mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner. All right? Do it now! All right. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.